Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I will be um, going through some of my absolute favorite must-haves from Sephora because I know with the sale coming up, y'all want to break your bank accounts just like me and I'm sure some of you guys would love some trip, uh, some tips on what to get if you have certain type of skin or just some good suggestions overall. Okay, so I thought maybe we would start off with some skincare, some of my absolute favorite skincare products. And it's actually funny because I have come such a long way from when I first started doing makeup because when I look at my throwback pictures or anything, my skin was really just not where it is today. And I feel like it's because of my skincare routine. And I think um, before I started wearing makeup, I never had a skincare routine. It was kind of just like wake up, wash your face, put on some Vaseline and call it a day. Uh, but now, I feel like I have really helped with my hyperpigmentation and just like um, making my skin feel and look alive, um, which is so important to me now, especially um, if you're someone that does wear makeup often. So I thought I'd go through some of my favorite skincare products with you guys and then yeah. So first off, um, okay, so the first product we have here is my absolute favorite, Ola Henriksen Balancing Force force oil control toner um this is a brand new one i literally stocked up two last time with my old um last sephora order so i love this i have actually tried out a couple of other toners and i just always come back to this one i know that the um blue one is known to help with dark spots and stuff but i just i don't know i tried that one and it wasn't calling my name i just love this green one and it says that it helps with con um, controlling oil helps minimize appearance of pores freshen skin um, with green fusion complex uh, complex neem seed oil um, salicylic acid and a bunch of other stuff um, but yeah i love this product next we have Caudalie, and I don't know if I ever pronounce this brand properly, but I love their products. So um, this is their purifying gel cleanser. I started using this. Um, I got this actually with the last order as well, and that was my first time trying it, and I absolutely love it. I just feel like it really helps um, cleanse my skin, especially after wearing makeup. I feel like it really does a job with just like getting into the nicks and cranes of your skin and just like um, uh, cleansing it out. Um, and I, I use it every night, whether I'm wearing makeup or not, and I just feel like um, it leaves my skin feeling super clean and hydrated, which is what I love about it. So yeah, if you're someone that wears makeup on a regular or just makeup in general, um, I would definitely suggest getting a makeup melter or like a cleanser or like a makeup melting oil or something like that. And I really like the green clean um, makeup melt away cleansing balm from pharmacy, I believe. Yeah. Um, so basically what you do is you just scoop a bit out and then you um, just put on your skin as you like when you're wearing makeup and it literally melts your skin like sorry melts your makeup away which is amazing and I love this product so much I've already gone through half of it and it's my first time using it so definitely check that out as well okay so the next thing that we have here is the origins active charcoal mask to clear pores so I got the small one with like a while ago just to try it out and then I bought the big one um, with the last sale and I absolutely I ran out of this one so I started using this one and I love 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 this product so much um, it's one of those masks that really just seeps into your pores and like it when it dries you can see all your pores and I just feel like it really just takes out all the dirt in your face and your pores and some like for me I have really really big pores I keep saying pores but you get the idea and so I really feel like this uh, mask does wonders for me and again what's gonna work for my skin is not necessarily gonna work for your skin so definitely do your research um, look at the products that are being used in it um, get tester see if it works for your skin um, these are all products that I have been using um, and love so yeah oh, the next skincare product is is the Ola Henriksen C Crush Brightening Gel Cream. I love this cream. So before this one, I used to use the Kiehl's Ultra Repair one, and I love that one as well, but this one just gives my skin a glow. Every morning I wake up, I put on some vitamin C oil, and then I put this on, and my skin just feels dewy throughout the day. It feels super, super hydrated. Um, it's just it's just nice. It just feels really good on the skin too. Um, and I will be 100% restocking on this because I'm almost out of this. And then we have two products from Laneige that I swear by. And I have restocked on these three times now. Um, this one is the Sleep Care Water Sleeping Mask from Laneige. And then this one is the Sleep um, mask lip mask from Laneige. I love both of these products oh so much. The benefits of it is it's purifying it, moisturizing, um, and yeah, and it, it's a recharging gel mask, uh, and it works overnight, which is why it's overnight mask. And then this Laneige lip 
balm or lip mask. I use it throughout the day. I don't just use it at nighttime. Um, it literally keeps my skin looking fresh because um, you know your girl be going through some cracked up lips phases during the winter time. But um, I absolutely love this product a lot. Um, it does its job and it comes in such a big, uh, like this, I've had this for like over like a year now and I'm still not done it. Okay, so those are all of my skincare product, must have products that I want to go through. I'm trying to make this video not too long, so I don't want to go through like everything. These are just like my absolute favorite products that I keep restocking on or just want to keep uh, reaching for. So yeah, now let's get into makeup. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about is precisely my pencil from Benefit. This brow pencil is a life savior. I started using this two years ago and I probably have went through 20 of them. I absolutely love their product so much. See, it does what it says. It's very precise. It's waterproof. Um, it's easy to draw hair like strokes. I mean, I have them on right now and I love how my brows always look when I use them. I have tried other products and I just always gravitate back to the Precisely My Brow. So definitely um, check it out. So the next thing that I want to talk about is foundations. I have three foundations here, all for different things, all for whatever. Um, I'll start off by with the Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer. I really like this. Um, if you're someone that doesn't like wearing makeup often or just someone that wants more of a natural look to go into the office or whatever, I would highly, highly, highly suggest this product. Only thing is, I don't think they have the best um, shade range. I am in tan dark, which is too dark for me right now, but I think in the summertime, this is the perfect shade. The one, the shade above this is too light for me, so it kind of is annoying, but if you can find your shade and if you're somewhat around my shade or a little darker, tan dark will work for you, so yeah. The next product we have is the Estee Lauder um, Double Wear Foundation. I am in the shade Rich Caramel, which I have been using for a while now. I absolutely love this product. I use it on some of my clients. Um, it is for people with oily skin, but I am someone with like, um, make, I would say I'm not like dry. Okay, I'm combination. I'm combination and I find that it works really well for me. I love this foundation. It really holds um, and it's true to itself and it doesn't move and I just love the product so much. I love the color color range. They have all the colors of the rainbow that you can imagine. Um, so it's, it's a great product. The last foundation that I want to talk about today is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I love this foundation. It really, really, really is so pretty on the skin. It gives me that velvet matte slash, it's not too matte, so it's like very soft um, finish on my skin. Um, I'm in the shade Carcass, which is too dark for me right now, but it's perfect for me in the summertime. Um, and sometimes I just mix the foundation with something lighter, just, you know, um, but I absolutely love the formula. I love what it does and I love how it makes my skin feel. Next, we're gonna talk about concealer. So I know a lot of people like the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. For some reason, it wasn't doing it for me. I feel like it's too dry for my skin. So I found the Born This Way Too Faced Multi Sculpt Concealer. And ever since I found it, like three years ago, I have not stopped using it. I have restocked on this multiple times. I absolutely love this concealer so much. It it doesn't leave my under eyes looking cracked or cakey or anything. A lot of product, like, and dude, the bottle is huge. Like I have not run, I hardly run out of this product, but I just stocked up on it just because I'm almost done. Um, and I love this product so much. And it's easy applicator, everything about it is just amazing. It has a great shade range. I'm in the shade Warm Sand, but I feel like it, I can also be one above or below. It kind of just works out that way. Um, but yeah, um, this is the one. And I feel like it has a lot more concealer in it than mo a lot more product in it than most other concealers. So I love, love, love this concealer. Um, there are a couple of other concealers that I absolutely love, but this is my must have. So I'm just gonna keep it at that. So yeah. So the next thing that we're going to talk about is the MAC Studio Fix Powder. I'm in the shade NC43, I'm also NC42 slash NC45, I can use any of those three, depends on the season, um, time of the year, but yeah, I use this on all my clients, and if you guys know, then you know how good this product is. It really is a life changer. Um, I carry this around when I wear makeup and I'm out and about because I, I just use it to set my face and it takes away the oils and it just does its job, so yeah. Next, we are gonna talk about the Fenty Beauty um, bronzers. I haven't tried their cream bronzers yet, but that is in my cart for this year's purchase. Um, I'm gonna talk about their powder um, 
their Sun Stalker Instant Warmth Bronzer today, and I'm in the shade Coco Naughty. Again, I feel like I can go a shade darker in this one, but I've been using this for a long time now. I haven't hit pan yet, and I use this almost with all my looks. I absolutely love this. I feel like it really does the job and just warms up the face. Um, and I mean, Rihanna always has it on point, so go check it out. Um, the next thing we're gonna talk about is cream blush, which is my new, like, I found like, I never used to do cream blush. I used to be like a powdered blush kind of girl. I was like too scared to try it out. And now it's like, I don't ever want to look at a powder brush again. Like I just love cream, cream blushes and what it does to the skin. And we're going to talk about the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush in Daiquiri Dip. Drip, sorry, Daiquiri Drip. It looks like that. And it is just so pretty, like so pretty. And it swatches on the skin so nice and it really just blends in. It's not like cakey. Um, it gives you that, it gives a little bit of like a glow um, and it doesn't sit on top of your skin. And I feel like with pressed powder, sometimes if you're not prepping your skin properly or whatever, or you have dry skin, um, putting a lot of uh, powder products can like make your skin look even more cakey. Um, and I feel like with, with um, uh, cream blushes, it just doesn't do that. So if you're looking for a cream blush or you think you want to try one, I highly suggest trying th this one. And then the next product we're going to talk about is a liquid blush which is from rare beauty i absolutely love all her products um i have tried her concealer and this and i love both of them and i've seen amazing reviews on most of her products so yeah i definitely want to start trying more of hers but this blush is everything i'm telling you it is such so pretty and i have the color love and i want to try joy next time um it's just so nice the only thing i would say about this product is you kind i like using my fingers for this because i find when you're using a brush um, the strokes kind of don't like blend in properly if that makes sense using your fingers just is better um, And there was one time I made a mistake where I put it on both my cheeks And then I take my time with just applying it and the other side kind of got um, Dried up and I wasn't able to blend it out So I would say if you're using this product put a little on blend it out and then put the other side on But it is so pretty on the skin and it really does its justice and it like you know how like most of the time blush leaves your skin first this is not the case with that i feel like this really just um just does its job and stays there you know um so if you're looking for a liquid blush definitely go get yourself a rare beauty blush all right we're almost done so bear with me i'm trying to go through this as quick as possible um so this is the only lip liner i will use and have ever used and i feel like it just works wonders with my lips it is the MAC Lip Liner in Chestnut. If you don't have it, you need to go get it. Um, it is the only lip, lip liner that I literally use on my lips. Um, and if you're trying to wear a nude and you're a brown girl and you're like, nudes just don't look good on me. And the amount of times I have heard that, it's crazy. You're just not using the correct lip liner. You need to use a dark brown lip liner because a lot of us have hyperpigmentation around our mouth or our, um, our lips are different colors and I feel like this really helps combat that and then you can go in with the lighter color and it just does justice for your lips. And I'm wearing it right now. I always wear it all the time. It might intimidate you because it looks really dark but that's how it's supposed to be and then you go in with the lighter shade and you blend 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 and bang, you know. The next products we have here are my favorite liquid lipsticks which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, li liquid lipstick in Ashton and I think most girls know this lipstick if you know anything about Anastasia then you know this lipstick in my opinion I use this on all my clients I use this on myself this is my favorite 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 nude lipstick ever I'm wearing it right now it's just so pretty and I feel like um um, it, like it's just brown girl friendly every girl friendly like any girl can rock this shade, which is amazing um, So yeah, if you don't have it reach for it And then the last one that I really like and I reach for all the time is the always on liquid lipstick from Smashbox Another really pretty shade. Um, it is a bit lighter than the Ashton But what I like doing is actually applying Ashton and then this in the middle and bang and that's what I'm wearing right now on my lips And I think it looks amazing But yes, um, that is it for today's must have, Sephora must has. If you stuck around this long, then let me know if you are going to be purchasing any of these items. Um, it is, um, I honestly, there's so many products that I love and just um, cherish, but I don't, I didn't want to go through everything. I just wanted to go through the ones that I reach for on a regular and things that I wear on a daily. Um, as a makeup artist, you can imagine how much makeup I have and how much makeup I'm gifted, which I'm so blessed to have but these are just products that work for me um so i mean if you guys have great suggestions or other suggestions for 
um, anything, just let me know down below because I would love to check it out as well. But as I mentioned, if you um, if you are someone that is looking to spend some money at the Sephora haul and this video helps you out, just let me know below because I would love that. Um, and as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Your day, baby, how's your day? But today ain't the same. Every other one.